Good morning YouTube, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Charlie. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. It is currently 7.15 in the morning and I am absolutely knackered. I'm coming to the end of a big training block so my body's pretty fatigued at the moment and I'm just about to head out on a 60-70 mile bike ride. Um, a little grand fondo of one of my friends called Sergio. We are trying to prepare ourselves to do our first century ride, a 100 mile ride together that we've planned next week. So hopefully today's session goes well. Yesterday's session, we done it. Well, no, not yesterday. A couple of days ago, we done a session, and oh my god, it was a nightmare. Honestly, it was cursed. So we was with me and him was with another person called Oleg. He lost a spoke on one of the downhills, and his wheel decided to like fold. It was honestly went completely egg shaped. So we had to take him to a train station to get home, and um, we then he then got oh uh, sorry Sergio then got two punches straight afterwards, and oh, it was an absolute nightmare because we snapped both of the tie levers the second time round and we just couldn't get the tie back on. So I had to call a friend to come pick us up. So I'm really kind of praying, like touch wood, I'll tell you wood, wood, that, um, you know, today goes stress free and we can actually get a good session in. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we're out on the bikes. Oh crap, so I've just realised that I always do this somehow, but um, yeah, I need to be out the door soon and I haven't got any of my cycling stuff ready. And the one thing that I always manage to do is put my cycling, like my bib shorts on in the, in the wash just before I need to go out. Like the day before I need to go out and then I end up putting them on so they wet. Fucking hell. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh. About a minute away from shoot till now where I'm supposed to meet Sergio. Running late though, because I'm supposed to be there by now, but anyway. I won't be long. God, the wind is really strong already, and I'm just hoping that I don't get a headwind the whole way today. It's going to be a bloody nightmare. It's literally like the worst thing ever. And I always get this feeling whenever I leave my house. I don't know if it's just me, but I always feel like I've forgotten something. It drives me mad. I've definitely forgotten something today, though, but I don't know what it is. I've got my water, I've got my pump, got my saddle bag, got my helmet, got myself. I don't know what it is, but I've forgotten something. Anyway, I shall see you when we're there. Currently at the top of Shooters Hill now. Oh, so early, man. Fuck. But Sergio's not here yet, luckily, because I was worried about being late. But yeah, he's not here just yet. So hopefully he'll be here soon. He's got, unfortunately, he's got to come up this huge hill. Like, I'm not sure if you can see it, how kind of gauge how high we are, but it just dips down on both sides. But yeah, no, he's got to come up that hill. So I kind of feel sorry for him. And then we're going to go and do the ride. I was, I could have met him down the bottom of the hill and come up with him, but I just thought, oh, you know what? If I'm not warmed up, I definitely don't want to be doing that. So. I'm just going to let him grab the extra gains by himself today. Oh, yeah. Oh, here he comes. I can see him now. Look. That little yellow blob. But yeah. See you guys when we're out on the ride. Stuck at Royal Ice. you got to love London. It's just constant lights. Oh. Oh. So we're just, we're just getting near Surrey. Finally made it onto like the Kent country roads, and it is so much nicer than fucking riding those London roads. Like those London roads are awful. But yeah. Last time I was recording, I nearly died in the middle of the road because of a pothole. Not the best. Uh, we're gonna stop at a cafe thing soon because uh, there's a couple of things we need to sort out on the bikes and um, get a coffee or something. But I'll see you guys over there. Oh shit! I'm not Right, we're on the 20, we're, we've done about 26 miles, just got to Box Hill, um, I don't really know what we're doing now, we're going to try and find a cafe, get something to eat, and uh, sort, sort the bikes out of it, because there's a few problems we've got going on. I think people are just doing laps around here, because we, when we first got here, there was like tons of people just coming round, but there's literally no one here now. We stopped in the middle of the bloody road, which probably isn't the best idea, but overall. Yeah, a bunch of cyclists come in. This is definitely like a hot spot for cyclists in the area. I've never been here before, but luckily Sergio knew the route. We just we just came here now, and then um, we're going to try and find a cafe. There is one, literally, I think it's probably on down there. All right, so we're about to go to the cafe now. We'll see you when we're there. But yeah, like I said, we're planning on doing um, this ride and maybe one other one, and then we're going to try and do a like a 100 mile century ride soon. Wait, when, when do you want to do that? I'm running when you want to do it. Yeah. So we're planning a century ride, um, probably like next week or something. I say we could do it like next week or maybe get one other ride in. If I just, yeah, get get one other ride in. 
Yeah, I don't know if that's it then, 0 0.4 miles is further than that, especially at this pace, that's just some other thing. Yeah, yeah um... Oh, no, it is this one, yeah. oh, is it? Oh, alright, we'll come, we'll turn in here then. Yeah, we just got to the cap, it was literally right where we were, okay, well, I don't know why this guy's beeping me. I was nowhere near him. But yeah, no, we're just going to quickly stop, get something to eat and a drink, or we'll, we'll, we'll stop and gravel here. Just got myself a lovely coffee and a sandwich. Mm. We had to wait ages because the bloody coffee machine wasn't working, which wasn't the best, but um... We're finally here now. Got the bikes here. They're, they've made it in one piece today, thank God. Yesterday was a nightmare. We had like two punches, and someone had a, a spoke that just like snapped. Yeah. Yeah, and then their wheel was like literally folding in half rapidly. So um, we have to take them to a train station. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this sandwich now, and we'll uh, see you guys when we're back on the road. Right. So, ten years later, we're still here trying to fix this bloody thing. I'm not sure if anyone knows how, if we don't get this sorted and people know how to do it, put it in the comments because we've, uh, we've got a bit of a problem here. We're trying to make the tyre even all the way around, but it keeps bulging in certain places and it's so fucking annoying, we don't know what to do. We just had a nice little doggo came over and helped, but um, a tyre made some popping sound and it ran off, but yeah. Those, those guys over there, yeah. us this way, us if... We need help. Yeah, we need help. Yeah, we probably should Let's get all assistance we can. We decided we just can't do it, so we're going to quickly try and find a bike shop nearby. Someone just came over, a really nice guy told us where the nearest bike shop is, so we're going to go there now and um, hopefully get his tyre bulge sorted out, because it's just annoying, because on the downhills it's like bobbling up and down, and it's just, it's just really annoying, so we're going to get that sorted out quickly now. Obviously you guys are at the bike shop. We're just on our way to the bike shop now to hopefully get his tyre sorted out, because it's just bulging on one side, and I'm not, look, I'm, I'll try and show you guys what I mean. It's really bloody annoying, it's like... You can sort of see it's like bobbling up and down though. No, I don't think you can see that, but it is quite annoying. But yeah, no, we're planning on doing a good century ride soon, a 100 mile ride. We're doing this ride, um, this is like a little grand fun that we're doing about, oh crap, I need to start my driver again. Um, today, what are we doing, like 60 miles, 100k? Yeah, right, 60 miles. Yeah, okay, about 100k. Tomorrow we're gonna do, well, no, not tomorrow, but sooner we're gonna do another quite a big ride, and then we're gonna do, try and get the century ride done after that, I think. Yeah. But we're trying to plan a route, I don't know, where do you, where do you wanna, Probably Kent somewhere. Somewhere Kent in the um, countryside is probably the best, isn't it? Yeah. I'll yeah. Have, you know what, Country road somewhere. Because I really like this route. Like, yeah. No, this route's I nice. Yeah. Here, but I, I really yeah. Like Box, Box Hill is really good. Yeah. Specifically yeah. Box Hill. But uh, the route we took to get here was like through London, which was pretty shit to be honest. Like a lot of potholes and a lot of traffic and just cars beeping us the whole way. So that wasn't very pleasant. But if we can find a nicer route to Box Hill, I mean, look, there's so many cyclists around here, but the traffic's pretty bad. If we can find. A, uh, if we can find a better route to Box Hill and then ride through Box Hill more often, that'd be a lot better. But look at these cars, there's some mad cars here. Fucking hell, that's had a lot of mud, mud put on it, Jesus Christ. But yeah, no. Century ride coming soon. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, definitely, I don't think that's it, surely. That's where someone lives, I think. Yeah. Right, so we just got to Box Hill on the uh, destination bike, Box Hill, Calf, whatever it is. So many cyclists here. I feel intimidated. I feel like these guys are all pro, like they're definitely teams. Like look, you can see, um, they've all got the same kit and they've all, like that's definitely a team hotspot where people come, you know, just relax on their long training rides and stuff. But yeah, no, we've just made it here now. Not gonna lie, we need to go in and ask how to fix this bloody tire, but yeah, right, let's just do it. We're just here at Box Hill now. Um, Sergio's just gone into I asked her to sort out this tyre bulge problem because it's just really annoying now. But um, yeah, there's like a lot of proper teams right here, which is sick. I feel very intimidated surrounded by all these fucking sick cyclists with their really expensive bikes. I feel like such a noob. Look. There's so many. Right, so we made it to Box Hill. We're um, going to head out to Gravesend or something next, I think. Actually, no, not Gravesend. I don't know where we're heading next, but we're on... My Strava just reset, but I think we're on, like, mile 30 now. And um, Sergio's just gone inside the little cafe at Box Hill to try and get the uh, tyre problem sorted out, but there was a load of teams here. 
but I'm not sure if you can see, but they're all sort of they're all sort of heading off in their own separate ways now. But yeah, there's like the main cafe where everyone stops. But um, yeah, hopefully we can get going soon and get this sorted out because the last couple of rides have ended up like this. Like we've had we've had quite a lot of problems, and we just want to try and get that average pace back up and start getting back out on the get back out actually doing some proper training to be honest. But yeah, hopefully we can get this sorted out and get back on the road soon. But did you ask them to do? Well, yeah, look how many Jesus, there's so many like teams going past. Did you ask them what to do? Huh? Get those gains in. You have to like hang your whole body weight on it. Yeah, literally. Box Hill area is the fucking nicest area to ride around. I don't care what anyone says. This just shows. This is just. This just basically proves why I love riding. Like this just emphasises the fact why I love riding so much. It's fucking amazing. It's such a sick sport. I can't recommend cycling around Box Hill enough. It's such a lovely area. Tons of other cyclists who know what they're doing. You know, if you get stuck and you need a hand, you can always speak out to and ask ask for help because people around here are really nice. Everyone says hello. It's such an amazing area to ride. I'm definitely going to be coming here more often. We're both loving it. Box Hill Cafe, we just finished Box Hill. Oh, do you know what? I'm so surprised that my fitness has gone up a lot recently. I literally feel like my fitness has skyrocketed recently since I've started riding with Sergio. We've been doing some really good training because Box Hill felt like nothing like it. It was so easy. So yeah, hopefully we can uh, do another couple circuits. Maybe maybe pick up the pace a little bit on the next one. See how it goes. It's busy here though, look. Not too much social distancing going on here, is there? There's no social distancing. Yeah, none at it's all. It's a really nice environment. Yeah, it is nice. Just pure cyclists. Like, you know you're not going to get into any arguments with anyone about your bike when pretty much 80% of the people, or even more 90% of the people, are on bikes. And 